another experiment. This time, I'm going to show you a solution which makes use of salt as solute. So all we need is a glass, top water, measuring cup, a salt, and a teaspoon. This is the procedure. On the glass, I will put one cup of tap water. But since the measuring cup is one half, so we need to put two of this. I will add one teaspoon of salt. Let us wait until it will be dissolved. This teaspoon has already been dissolved. We will add another teaspoon. One, two, two. Oh, that was already the thir third teaspoon. Four, and five. So that's it. We will add the six teaspoon. Oops. Six teaspoon of salt. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. 10, 11, 12, okay, 12. There we have it. 12 teaspoons of salt. Let's observe what happened to the salt. Being dissolved in water, it is clear that the rough and bigger cores of salt is reduced to finer particles, though it is not totally dissolved. I therefore conclude that dissolving a solute can be total of partial depending on the size of the substance. Based on the two experiments, there are two factors that can affect the process of dissolving substances in water. These are the temperature of the water and the size of the substance or so huge.